Vivekam. I am Vivekanandan. A large populated country always faces a lot of uh, problems like strain on the natural resources, facing a lot of competition and so on. Uh, then, in a large country like India, which has more than 130 crores of the population, do you think there is no advantage? There is an advantage in terms of commerce. And in today's video, let's discuss about it. India has been a developing country right from the 60s, 80s and till now. But there is one small difference. India is developing very fast these days. And the impact of that is people are having more money in their hands. In other words, there is a lot of distribution of money in the market. And because of this, what people normally will do is they will start buying products. Compared to the last 25 years, today in India, people buy more products. Uh, in many households, a minimum, they have a two-wheeler, at least a television shirt set. Yes, they do have. And in the coming days, this is set to increase. Imagine 130 crores of the population, if they are going to buy products like uh, watches, uh, television, mobile phone, laptop, uh, two-wheeler, refrigerator, what will happen? There is going to be a huge demand in the market. To meet the demand, you have to have raw materials and particularly to convert the raw materials into products, you have to provide employment. And this is a huge opportunity for India. And you might ask me, this is the same elsewhere in the world, in all the countries of the world. But friends, let's uh, think about this fact. And the fact is, the first most, the largest populated country in the world is China with a population of more than 140 crores. And the second is India with a population of more than 130 crores. And do you know what is the next one? The third most populated country of the world. It is the United States of America with a population of more than 30 crores. Come on, where is 30 crores and where is 130 crores? It is a huge gap. And this is, in fact, that is the reason India is bigger. India is a huge market for many companies. Many multinational companies compete to sell, in, sell their products in India because it is a, such a big market. If they can sell their product to at least any one segment in India, it is equal to selling their products in many countries of the world. And uh, it is even advantage. So many companies coming inside India is an advantage for us as well as them. If it is an advantage for multinational companies of other countries, think about our own people, our own companies inside India. If we people produce products for India alone, for this domestic market alone, it is, a, it is more than enough, we become a very prosperous country. The, we, the, we don't have a disadvantage of searching for markets to sell their products. Many small countries in the world have to find the markets to sell the products. But that is not the case in India and this is actually a huge advantage. And, but what are the kind of products we need to produce? Before that, let us discuss about the fact. And the fact here is, you would have heard about a product, or you would have heard about a term called as demographic dividend. What is demographic dividend? Demographics means population. Dividend means profit. This term roughly translates into profitable population. This term, the world countries, the world nations, they call this term actually uh, suits India well. And uh, we have just discussed one reason why this term is apt for India. And now the second reason. The second reason is again a fact. In this 130 crores of the population, remove 50 percentage. Do you know what is the age of the remaining 65 crores of this population? 
it is well below 35 years the so called youth population you remove another 10 crores the remaining 50 crores they are under the age of 25 come on friends the po entire population of europe is 70 crores here in india we have youth population alone equal to that of a continent imagine what kind of uh, advantage it is it is a huge advantage provided we convert this young population into a very very productive workforce so how do we convert that so we'll discuss two more examples all of you would have used this app or this site called as redbus and what is the story of redbus the founder of the redbus once he wanted to go home for diwali and um, uh, he, he uh, plans to travel by bus but he did not get tickets for going home and he misses the festival and uh, he sits back and uh, thinks why this happened uh, in spite of there so many buses running and he found out that he did not have enough time to go to every bus operator and ask for a ticket so he found this is a problem and he comes with a solution of an online platform called Redbus where all the bus operators come and offer their services so anybody who wants to book a bus ticket in the future, I mean it is already happening, anybody who wants to book a bus ticket, they will just log on to this particular site, they will check what are the, who are the bus operators, how many seats are available and finally book a ticket very easily. A complex problem being solved by an innovative solution. I'll give you another example. This company called as Bandicoot, they have an objective and that objective is to stop manual scavenging in India. What is manual scavenging? Manual scavenging is cleaning of human waste by humans. Imagine it is really a difficult and a torturous act to get into the tunnels, clean the human waste. Uh, there, has, there has been instances where many people have lost their lives due to inhaling of poisonous gas, asphyxiation and so on. And uh, in fact many governments have uh, come up with laws uh, stopping this man, uh, manual scavenging. But in spite of that it is still existing because uh, there, is no, uh, there are no alternatives. And this company called as Bandicoot, they have come out with a machine, robotics machine. And the duty of this machine is, instead of humans, it goes deep inside the whole tunnels and cleans the human waste. And uh, this machine is being totally operated by the same people who are previously getting inside those holes. So they don't lose their jobs, but at the same time they know that particular job, how to do it in a better way. Now all the stakeholders involved in this act are benefited. The point I'm trying to say with these two examples are, is, India is a developing nation, developing very fast, but it has a lot of problems around it. If these youngsters can look around and start solving problems of this particular society, India will soon become a prosperous country and the youth become, will become the leaders of tomorrow showing the way to the world. But the one thing they have to develop is, one is right kind of knowledge and the next is right kind of skills. If they can develop these two and start implementing in their own domain, solving problems right from water management, agriculture, malnutrition, whatever field they are in, if they can solve problems in that particular domain, India will soon become a prosperous country, the youngsters will become leaders of tomorrow and importantly Kalam's uh, vision of uh, a developed nation will be accomplished soon. Thanks for watching the video. Have a good day.